Hello there YouTube, Thady Tech here, doing a quick uh, unboxing and installation of my TP-Link 300, whoops, got some light glare there, 300 megabits per second, uh, yeah, my wireless card, you get the point, PCI adapter, wireless card, supports BG and N, Wi-Fi, uh, pretty good deal, about 20, 25 bucks on uh, Amazon. So uh, I decided to pick this up since I've been using a method. It's called uh, it's like Auto Etho through. If any of you Linux users use the uh, what do you call it um, Ethernet, it's a, a way to share Wi-Fi from a laptop to something using Ethernet. And uh, yeah, won't be needing this anymore. How nice! I can return that to the main office. Anyway. Uh, we're going to be unboxing this, and uh, let's get right into this. Okay, for this unboxing, we're using bigger knife. You know, massive knife that I used in that one uh, unboxing. Oh, yeah. So I'll just get the corners here. It's actually a letter opener. It's not really a knife. If I filed it down, then yeah, it would be a knife. But, uh, it's... You know what? This lighting needs change. There we go. Get a little less light glare for you guys. Yeah. One second like here. Ah, there we go. Shrink wrap. Pure evil, not really. And what's evil is blister packs. Those are evil. Okay, there we go. And as you can see on the back here, we've got some. Uh, Apparently it's easy to install. It's usually helpful. It says insert your PCI adapter in your slot of your PC, insert the CD into the CD drive, and then install the driver. Finished, and enjoy the high-speed wireless network. Well, that's if you have a good internet connection, unlike me, in which it takes about five hours to upload anything to YouTube. Yay! Um, so trust me, it's, uh, it's like torture. I have to leave everything uploading overnight, though I think a lot of people do that. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'll also talk about some of their other products and such. Okay, so uh, let's unbox this. Let's see if we can get the camera back a little bit. Totally professional uh, moving the tripod while recording. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we're going to move that light a bit out of the way. Get some natural light in here. Perfect. Since it's still somehow daylight. Okay, so uh, no seals or anything, so that's good. So it opens up the like, standard box. Oh, nice motorcyclist. Um, oh, nice little uh, slip case they got going down here. Not very fancy, but works. All I want is what's inside anyway. And uh, here's a white box up like that. Oh, you get a tiny CD. What fun. I love these things. Good thing I have a good disk drive. Not really. Uh, <laughs> this almost looks like some sort of medication with the type of pictures they have on this. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Oh, you can't see that. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay. You get a tiny CD. You get those weird installation guides. Basically just give you instructions. Installation for Windows 7. Blah, blah, blah. It's self-explanatory. And quick, uh, that's another one of these. And then probably Spanish. Oh, yeah. Of course, include that. And here we got our antennas, which you can screw into your uh, PCI card so as to, uh, well, wireless card so you can get a better range. And finally, we have the thing in the anti stack bag. It says, Observe precautions for handling electron electrostatic sensitive devices. Basically, ground yourself before you touch, and it'll be good. Um, so you can see in there, TP Link, 300 megabits per second, wireless N and B. It also supports B and G, so that's good. Came with three antennas, so that's why I guess it would support all three. And he has a PC. I express. I would, yeah, PCI. It's pretty universal, for the most part. Okay, so let's clear some of this crap out of the way, and uh, 
Let me set up the camera so we can uh, get a good view into my homemade computer. Um, which, by the way, I never uploaded the videos that I did for building it because it's impossible to record it when you're doing your first computer build. It's not very easy, so, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get right into this, so, uh, let me stop blabbering and, uh, set up the camera. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. Now I got the antennas here, got the wireless card here, and, uh, we're gonna be installing it into my home-built computer here. Um, now if you do, do, if you are curious, uh, I will post the specs in the description. Um, basically I have 600 watt power supply. Can't see that, but if I move the camera back a little. 600 watt Corsair power supply. I got a Core i5-2400 running at 3.1 gigahertz, I guess, when it's at full max. Probably idles a little less than that. Um, and then we have, what, oh... Yeah, some generic LG $20 um, disk drive, and then we've got a salvaged hard drive from another computer, and then we've got stock cooler, 120mm fan, runs fairly cool. I don't have any fancy graphics card into it yet, though uh, that will be coming eventually. Uh, at the moment, I don't have the money for it, so probably around Christmas time. I'll have enough money and combination with gifts and stuff, I'll be able to buy a good graphics card. Kind of debating between a uh, HD Radeon, what was it, 6870 and a 6950, I believe was the numbers. Yeah, I can never get them right, but yeah, I think that's right. Um, those are the two I'm kind of debating between. There's a gigabyte that's like slightly overclocked, like 950 megahertz. Uh, so I'm kind of debating between the two. But money plus other things will uh, decide that for me. So anyway, uh, let's get this thing in here. Uh, first step you have to do is first obviously unplug the computer, make sure no power is running through it. And you're also going to have to make sure you find your PCI port. In this case, mine is right here. And um, once you've found that, you'll be able to have to unscrew this back part, which I'm going to do off camera, and uh, then you can start. You plug it in, re-screw it back on, bam, you're done. And of course, put on the antennas, boot up your computer, and install the software, aka drivers. Um, so I'm not actually going to do this on camera because it's very difficult. Well, I might actually show you the guys, show you guys the uh, me putting it in, but I'm going to have to unscrew this stuff first which, involving a heavy computer, I'm just going to do off-camera. So, be right back. Okay, as you can sort of see here, we have it installed now in the PCI port. Now I just got to put on the mounting screw. I had to move this wire around because it was... I had it around the back before, but it couldn't fit with this in the way, so... Uh, all we have to do now is apply the mounting bracket thing to keep everything in place. Uh, basically, you screw everything back on, the case that is and uh, install the drivers. So uh, let's get right into that. And one last thing we have to do is uh, screw on these. These are very simple. So we just go up to the thing, screw them on like that. And voila. Then you can sort of turn it to the way you want it and point it up so if you're backed into a corner like I am, it works out very well. So there you go. Um, I guess the next part of this will be installing the drivers, so see you there. Okay, and here we are on the computer now that we've booted it all up. And here's the driver software. And the type we have is... The TLWN951N, so the last one on the list, which has all three types. This one looks like it just has B&G, this one's uh, for a laptop, this one's just probably maybe B or I'm not sure G, and this one has all three, so I'm just going to click on this, or one of these two actually, uh, probably that.
probably running slow because I'm trying to record this too while it's uh, installing the driver, so that's probably part of it. But, um, yeah. Let's wait for it to load, and we should be uh, good. Get some nice internet up in here. Yada yada. This 64 bit, yeah. Yeah, I have Windows Professional 64 bit, so. Um. Sure. That's all I really need, I think. <laughs> um. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Installing. Oh, uh, I'm sure some of you might have spied this by now. Minecraft Alpha Jar. Yeah, I found it. I can play Alpha now. It's pretty crazy. Um, yes, it's just on the driver anyway. I sort of trust them, hopefully. Oh, look at this processor usage. It's crazy. day now. <laughs> um, well, there's not much to see. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, I guess in the meantime, I'll talk about other things. So, um, have you checked out my Hamachi video? Got 6,000 views. I'm excited about that. That was pretty cool of a uh, deal for me. And it's monetized, so um, every view that you guys show me, I'm getting a tiny little chunk of change, probably like a cent or two. I made about 10 bucks, I think, so far, off of three videos monetized. So, And then YouTube, uh, I, I mentioned it on my channel, the YouTube's allowed me to um, s request monetization for videos, so that's pretty cool. So now I can just like send something to YouTube, like uh, any video that I upload. It's almost like being a partner, except I don't get the extra little features with the channel and such, and the, um, what do you call them? The little preview box of the video. I can't remember the name of it right now. Yeah, I don't have those yet, but um, I do have longer than 15 minute videos, videos and uh, the ability to request monetization, so pretty cool. I get it, you're installing driver files. Are you going to be done? Well, um, because I'm sure this is getting very boring at this point, uh, I'm just going to pause the video, and uh, I really don't want to have to clip more, but I guess I'll do it. Um, be right back when this is finished. Sorry, <laughs> very unprofessional there. Anyway, as you can see here now, we do have the wireless network up, connected to my home network. Don't want to leave too much info there. Um, so yeah, pretty sweet. Uh, now I get f nice Wi-Fi on here without having to boot on my laptop, which means less heat in my room. That's very nice. And the only other upgrade I'm going to want is probably more fans better graphics card and some probably some more RAM but uh, other than that we're good um, slowly upgrading this computer as time goes on and my dog just walked in making tons of noise I'm sure um, yeah so I'm just gonna end the video here before it gets more obnoxious anyway uh, thanks for watching uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe um, if you have any questions about this where I got it and stuff uh, like I said it's Amazon just search some wireless cards and uh, you'll find it. This supports B, G, and N networks, and it, it's uh, rated at 300 megabits per second. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video, which will probably be Minecraft related. I do like doing these tech videos, but I think most of my channel is just going to be uh, Minecraft stuff these days, because I kind of enjoy it more. Uh, it's a little easier to come up with ideas and stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.